Hi guys, Misty and Anthony here with Taste Winchester History Food and Beer Tours. And we thought for our last Tasting Tuesday of the month that we would cover black history in Winchester. Which brings us to our first stop. Uh, we're, we're going to repeat the recurring theme of, uh, you know, we get to visit and talk about the historical spots that many of us pass by locally every day and probably don't even give them a second look. Yeah, we have no clue. So we're actually over on Piccadilly and you can probably see the turnabout behind us. So everyone drives by this old stone building and we just want to tell you what it is. So how did this start in the beginning, Anthony? Well, way back in 1788, this stone building was built by Presbyterians. Yes, and then it was rented by Baptist Church of Color and then became the Winchester School of Color. So this was the first school for blacks in Winchester. So today we know it as the Old Stone Church, but in a former life it was the Winchester Colored School. Yeah, and they quickly outgrew it in about 45 years, so they petitioned the city to build them a new school, which is how Frederick Douglass School came about. And that what was, happened there? I was going to say that was in 1924. He's on the dates today, as I'm always. On the dates. <laughs> I, you might see me if you've been on the tour. I carry around my cheat sheets to keep the dates straight. So in 1927, the Frederick Douglass School was open, uh, along with the segregated branch of the Handley Library. Yeah, so if you think back then, everything was still segregated. Um, so Frederick Douglass quickly outgrew themselves as well, and when everything integrated in the 60s, uh, it became several things. So it started as a high school, which was interesting because they only taught until ninth grade. And so at that beginning of the high school before Frederick Douglass became a high school, they had to actually go somewhere else. So they all went to Washington, D.C. to go to high school. And one of the first graduating classes in 1938 had eight students graduate. Five of them went to high school in Washington, D.C. And of those four, one became an attorney, a psychologist, a research biologist, and one became fire marshal of Washington, D.C. So the education that they got was pretty darn good here because they uh, produced some prominent citizens in the area. Yeah. So after everything was integrated, the Frederick Douglass School is now actually a historic monument as well on the Virginia landmarks. Our second stop brings us to 15 South Braddock Street, which is the Oric House. And we recently featured this as one of Winchester's historic homes on our blog at tastewinchesterhistory.com. Robert Oric was born into slavery in 1841. And before the Civil War, his owner allowed him to establish a livery stable here in Winchester. Yeah, so then when he became a free man, when the Civil War ended, he continued that operation and actually started, um, got a contract with the government for a mail route and became a big real estate owner. So he ended up building a huge business. He was able to donate construction materials to have the Oric Chapel built in Stevens City, as well as the land for the Oric Cemetery on Valley Ave. And when he died, he had an estimated wealth of about $25,000, which I think he died in 1902. Yeah. So that's about a million dollars in today's net worth. So it's pretty crazy he was able to do that. So hopefully you can hear us clearly because it's very busy down here, but as you roll down North Cameron Street, you'll come to 439 North Cameron, the home of the old Brown's Barbershop. So it was run by William Brown, Spotswood Brown, and Archie Byrne. It is actually currently still a barbershop, which is pretty fantastic. It was. Uh, but it was also a spot for blacks to socialize back then when everything was still segregated. And it became the local chapter of the NAACP, which is pretty cool. I had no idea. I've driven by here a million times. And they came up with a committee started here that came up with the plan to desegregate Hanley Library. Yes. Yeah, and from there, all of the other businesses in Winchester started desegregating. It's hard to miss because you could probably hear it in the background, the trains are firing up. So if you come down North Cameron, you'll see the beautiful, ugh. so if you come down North Cameron, you'll see the beautiful blue building at 439 North Cameron, Brown's Barbershop. Our next location for Black History Month is the Cartwright Funeral Home at 232 East Fairfax Lane. It was established in the mid-1930s by Robert S. Painter to serve the Winchester Black residents. 
after that, Joseph Cartwright took over for about 40 years, and it is actually currently run by his nephew, Bruce Cartwright, so it is still in the family. Okay, we are in front of Fremont Street Nursery, which started as the Negro Day Nursery in 1938 by the Civic Winchester Fund, and it was created to help working mothers at that time, and it's... Again, I think this is the third place we've been to that it's still continuing as what it started as, so that's pretty interesting. Coincidentally, this is the original location of Cartwright's funeral home, which was then called Painters. Yeah, so this is actually part of two historic stops for blacks in Winchester. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our Black History Month Tasting Tuesday. So we visited five stops today. There is a ton more history. We tried to cover the ones that are less well known that you may drive by all the time and just not have any idea of how they started and the people involved. Uh, the library actually has five boxes, I believe, yep. just dedicated to black history, the people, the places, the events. Um, so I definitely suggest getting in there if you want to read more. And if you want to share anything with us, we would love to sit down with anyone and discuss more history uh, on any of our Tasting Tuesdays or any of our other stuff. As always, you can find us at tastewinchesterhistory.com. On Facebook, we are Taste Winchester VA, and we are also on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. You'll find us, but please come join us for a tour soon. We would love to meet you. Have a great day, everyone.